எல்லாரும் தமிழ சகோதர சகோதரர்கள வணக்கம் ஐ ஹவ் பீன் விசிட்டிங் தமிழ்நாடு ஃபார் த லாஸ்ட் த்ரீ டேஸ் ஆஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் விகசித் பாரத் சங்கல்ப யாத்ரா இன் திஸ் த்ரீ டேஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஐ ஹவ் விசிட்டட் பம்மல் பல்லவரம் தாம்பரம் ஸ்ரீ பெரும்புதர் மதுரவோயல் அலந்தூர் அண்ட் டுடே வி ஹாவ் எ மீட்டிங் ஆஃப் ஓபிசி காரியகர்த்தா அட் அம்பத்தூர் திஸ் இஸ் த ப்ரோக்ராம் லான்ச்ட் பை அவர் பிலோட் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் நரேந்திர மோடிஜி ஹி வாண்டெட் டு அவுட் ரீச் டு த அன்ரீச்ட் பீப்புள் மீன்ஸ் the people who are eligible for the schemes launched by modi ji the needy of the society the poorer weaker sections so the yatra has begun in november with modi guarantee van wherein all the schemes launched by modi ji government will be educated to the masses touching 250000 villages in the country in span of 3 months no middleman role no bribe whoever is eligible they can avail the schemes so far modi ji has initiated pradhan mantri jandan yojana wherein poor people in the society they have been asked to open the accounts with zero balance nearly 51 crore people now open new accounts in this 6 years period and he has launched his pradhan mantri swachh bharat program 4 and 1/2 lakh villages now they have been turned to open defecation free earlier prior to 2014 there were only 39% toilet facilities to the women in rural villages towns and poor localities now modi ji has given a call and within a span of 6 years 100% open defecation free all the villages all the families now got toilets and bathrooms nearly 11.5 crore toilets have been constructed by modi ji Modi ji is more concerned to the neglected sections all these years in a span of 75 years of independence they have been treated as voters not as human beings and Modi ji because he hails from a poor family he seen the poverty because he has witnessed the poverty he wanted the bring all these poor people out of this poverty line nearly 13 and of crore people have been brought out from poverty line this is the concern towards the poor sections of uh, country modi ji in the name of pradhan mantri awas yojana he has given a shelter to the poor people 4 crore people have been got pakka houses you can imagine the australian population almost it is six times more the houses have been constructed and even for the women that pradhan mantri ujwala gas 9 and of crore people got now they have got now smokeless kitchens because he has seen how his mother was suffering in the kitchen with the traditional uh, method of cooking now ujwala gas has been given to 9 and of crores pradhan mantri suraksha bima social security to people 35 crore people were brought under the scheme pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti now this is also social security in case something happens that family will get 2 lakh rupees that is 16 and of crore people got under this all these schemes have been brought under the net of direct beneficiary transfers means in this 10 years 32 crore 32 lakh crore have been debited 
into the poor people accounts. No middleman, no dalari, no bribe. Earlier, Rajiv Gandhi, as a prime minister, he himself told that when I send 100 rupees from Delhi, the poor people used to get only 15 rupees, 85 rupees. Now that middleman, dalar has to eat away. That was the Rajiv Gandhi governance. That was the Congress governance. Now Modi ji governance, zero tolerance and corruption, no middleman role. And mudra, these loans are extended to the unorganized sections in the society. Almost 43 crore people got mudra loans. 63% are women again. Aishman Bharat, now the largest health security scheme wherein 500 crore people got free treatment. Jan Aushada centers where you get medicines, almost 70% discount. Now 10,000 generic medical shops have been opened and thrown. Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi helping the farmer as a capital investment. 11.27 crore farmers are getting benefited. On an average, every year annually, they are getting 6,000 rupees for the last five years. So you can imagine with these things, now Modi ji has got GST collection 85.60 lakh crores. You can imagine how the pilferage have been corrected. So as far as this infrastructure is concerned, airports, airways, railways, even what you call roadways, national highways have improved a lot. As far as this Tamil Nadu is concerned, 10,76,000 crores have been given by Modi government for the people of Tamil Nadu. In spite of BJP having no MP from Tamil Nadu, Modi ji means Team India because right from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, whether people have voted or not, Modi ji is helping all the states equally, 10,76,000 crore have been given to Tamil Nadu. Earlier, prior to 2014, there were only 74 airports. Now, it is double. In nine years, new 74 airports have come up. Even Chennai, Coimbatore, Madurai, Trichy, Tutikon, now they have been upgraded, costing 4,529 crores. Chennai airport at the cost of 2,467 crores, integrated airport constructed with the area of 2,20,972 square feet. Under Udan scheme, government proposed to construct new airport at Naivelli, Ramanathpuram. As far as Tanjavur, Vellur district. Now, ports are concerned, 1.46 lakh crores worth 108 schemes are implemented for development of ports. As far as railways is concerned, now 2014-15 only 855 crores were allotted. Now 2022-23, 3865 crores have been allotted for railways in Tamil Nadu. And Vande Bharat Express, now five trains have been given to Tamil Nadu. Chennai to Coimbatore, Chennai to Vijayawada, Chennai to Mysore, Chennai to Tirunvali, Coimbatore to Bangalore. And road sector, national highways, till 2014, right from independence, they have got only 4,975 kilometers. Now, in 22 December, 7,000 kilometers more national highways have been given to Tamil Nadu. Like that, medical college, before 2014, only 387 medical college was there. Now, it is 690, almost double how much concern Modi ji is towards the poor man health. Tamil Nadu got 11 new medical colleges at the cost of 2,145 crores. AIMS have been given to Madurai at the cost of 1,978 crores. Even MBBS seats, people now wanted to pursue this medicine. Earlier, there were only 51,000 medical seats. Now, in 2023, so it is enhanced to 1 lakh 101-043 seats means almost double all the 60 years of Congress rule they got only 51,000 now in 10 years it has touched more than 1 lakh seats medical postgraduate seats it was only 31,000 prior to 2014 now it is enhanced to 65,335 
Ames, there were only seven All India Institute of Medical Sciences prior to 2014. Now it is touched to 22. So COVID vaccine has been given to whole India 220.67 crores. Tamil Nadu alone 12.75 crores. Now COVID has been vaccine has been given. Now Aishman Bharat scheme, five lakh largest health security scheme. Now Tamil Nadu beneficiaries 1.85 crore. Now fund allotted is 1,694 crores. Like that, everywhere, Jan Aushada, PM, street vendor, Atma Nirbar Nidhi, and fisheries, even fisheries. Now 1952, 2014, the fund allotted was for fisheries and fisheries development and fishermen. It was only 3,682 crores. Now, from 2014 to 2023, 38,572 crores because most of the people in Tamil Nadu who depend on fisheries and fishing who live along the sea coast now they have been provided with 38,572 crores 11 ports for fishing and fish tourist sectors in Tamil Nadu fund allocated 1,460 crores Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sammanidhi Mandrega Pradhan Mantri Ava Sojana Tamil Nadu got 15 lakh people got pakka houses under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. This is what Modi ji has done. Free gas connections to Tamil Nadu. 37 lakh people got now Ujwala gas. Again, Swachh Bharat. Now total toilets constructed in Tamil Nadu, 57 lakhs. Now it is almost open defecation free. Like that, Pradhan Mantri Modi ji is concerned towards Tamil Nadu. And I appeal to the Tamil Nadu people. This Vikasit Bharat Sankalpa Yatra is touching all the villages in Tamil Nadu. You now you can be enrolled if you are not benefited by these schemes because no middleman role, no bribe at all. Without anybody's concern, they can avail all these schemes. This is what Modi ji means. Now it is for the welfare and development. Two eyes. In one side development, other side welfare to the people. Now, now I also appeal our state president Annamalai is on Yatra. Now he is touching all the areas in Tamil Nadu, appealing the people to strengthen Modi ji, to support Modi ji, so that Tamil Nadu can prosper more, Tamil Nadu can be developed more, Tamil Nadu people who are very poor who are also be benefit of this uh, all these schemes but the yatra which has undertaken by annamalai yan man yan makkal how is nandri how is process in yan man yan makkal tremendous response now the corruption the scams of this dmk stalin government are exposed now the people's court now DMK people stand as a almost culprits. Now some of the ministers are in jail. Now Annamalai is ex exposing all their scams, all their corruptions. Now people are looking towards BJP and Annamalai as the future hope of Tamil Nadu. Any possible DMK uh, joint uh, alliance, alliance, alliance and election? Election? Yeah, we are hoping that Anna DMK will come under BJP fold because Narendra Modi is going to become Prime Minister for third time again. Once he becomes Prime Minister for third time, India is going to be the third largest economic country in the world. That is Modi guarantee. What all this Modi guarantee when touching the Tamil Nadu area, people come forward. Now I have seen for the last three days, many of them are getting PM Swanidhi loans and even the Mudra loans, even all Vishwakarma loans. Now, now Tamil Nadu people are realizing it is Modi ji who is helping us. It is not DMK. DMK people, they used to collect money for getting any benefit. Now, Modi ji guarantee means no bribe, no commission, no collection. Straight away, very transparently, they are getting all these Modi government schemes. BJP, so, what all the schemes proposed by Modi ji 
for the poor and the needy of the society, these DMK people are trying to change the name and trying to take political advantage. Now Modi ji is giving 5 kg rice free to 81 crore people for the last 5 years. Then this DMK people, Stalin government, they say that, they claim that it is our scheme. Like that, all the names of the schemes are changed. It is only Modi government now supporting Tamil Nadu people. You see how prominence is given to Tamil Nadu and Tamil people. And Modi ji says, Tamil is also not a regional language. Tamil is also a national language. That Kasi Tamil Sangamam, which been organized by Modi ji, now thousands of Tamilian are now going to Kasi and now how they are being benefited by Modi government. This is the story of Tamil Nadu people, how Modi has come to their rescue. So, we have already planning to contest the maximum seats for Tamil Nadu parliament. Now, in spite of we are not having MP, we have given a minister to Murugan by giving Rajya Sabha also. This is what BGP is doing. Now, in the next ensuing elections, I appeal to all the Tamil people to strengthen and support Modi ji so that more number of MPs win from Tamil Nadu, be part of government and be part of development. Tamil, develop, Tamil Nadu development means India's development. Tamil Nadu growth means India's growth. That is what Modi ji believes in that slogan. Sapka saad, sapka vikas. Tamil Nadu growth only, India's growth. That is BJP vision. Thank you. Thank you.